Here we go, guys. So welcome back. After a long weekend over Detective All, I've got a new little permission to go on. Let's see what I can find. Come on. So here it is. I've got these top fields. I've got this one I'm standing on. That one you can see in the distance there. One just over the distance there. That one and that one. So all these are planted with a special crop that is, uh, is designed to basically put all the nutrients and that back in the soil over winter and should do the ground really, really good and um, it will spray it off at the end of winter and plant his barley and that ready for it so he's gave me permission to come over here for the next few weeks and see what i can find really so it's quite an interesting bit of land this is so not far from here there was a roman horde found um i've recently found a load of bronze age stuff near here as well lidar's looking really promising so hopefully i can find some uh, some goodies they're quite at a steep angle so i wouldn't say anybody's lived here not so like per se they're not really flat kind of fields, but apparently these are where well, this because his granddad's farm before he's and this was all grassed, um, and it's only been the last twenty years or so that it got ploughed and turned over into uh, arable fields. So it'll be interesting to see what I find. Goodies. So I've got the first target here. This sounds very coiny. A nice solid ten. So I won't be able to dig it live. There we go, lovely little pewter button. It's been quite trashy so far. Um, so I'm not holding high hopes. Lots of foil. Yeah, lovely little pewter button. Another lovely little button. Got a bit of detail on this one though. Happy day. So it's not going too well, it's very, very trashy. Very trashy. Found a few buttons, which is a good sign. Um, but you got to dig through the trash to find the good stuff. But what a beautiful view from up here. I mean, I think that over there in the distance, if I can get in on it, is Hator. Um, so massive advantage point for any medieval or Roman times here. You can look straight over all the valleys. And at night times, you'll be able to see the glow of fire sticks if anybody was coming. Yeah, beautiful spot. So I've changed to a field, you can see the ridge and furrow coming through on the uh, on the LiDAR and I've just had a very random coin. And you can see it's got the number 10 written on it. Must be some sort of token, it's completely toasted, it's been hit a few times. But yeah, how bizarre, really shallow, just sat on top there. Very bizarre. If you know, let me know in the comments down below what it is. It's uh, yeah. Number 10. Bizarre. And then you've got a Maggie's token. It would be a 10p token back in the day. 10p was worth quite a bit of money. Um, you would have got quite a bit for that. Um, you can just make out Maggie's written across face it there. But yeah, you see what I mean by it's all black. It's really well beaten up. Um, this makes me think this would have been more part of a military aircraft. Sight. So this field is full of green waste, but I've had a pound. Green waste is just trash basically that's um, been dumped in from your green waste bins that get sent to landfill and ends up here. I mean, I have found so much trash, including an inhaler, loads of foil. Ugh. I might move to a different field that I know that's not got so much green waste on it. So I'm going to make way towards the car and see what happens on the way. So here we go, another little weird one. Some sort of fixing I reckon, maybe. Have to give it a proper clean up on a go, but that's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? It's fairly deep too. Uh, I don't know what to make of this field yet. I don't know. Good. Little coin. Haven't given it a clean up yet. Can I see a bust? That's a biggie bunhead. See that? Eighteen seventy-five. Little Vicky bunhead. Yay! That makes it better. So there is stuff here. It's definitely stuff here. I just gotta find it. Just gotta find it. 
Right, so that's promising. So I've got quite a bit of land to search. Put Bowers, 1875, Vicky Barnhead. Hopefully, you never know, there might be some gold here too. That. Come on. Another really good coin there, Victorian yeah. Barnhead. Um, you can tell by the bust on there. Yet again, another good condition. You can make out the hairline and everything really well. And on the back there, you can also make a Britannia. 1875. Yeah, this one else is pretty cool. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh, just dropped it. But got a little hoop at the top. Hmm. A bit decorative. I'm not entirely sure. If you know, let me know. Now, I have this little beauty. I've not cleaned it up properly yet. Um, I think it might be something Roman. I found something very similar online, um, which I'll attach a photo of it to the side of this. And you can let me know in the comments below whether you think it's very similar looking or the same, or let me know what you think it might well be part of. At first, I thought this piece along here might be a hinge, but if you look on the back, it's actually a complete piece. Um, so it's definitely not a hinge. Um, I thought maybe a clasp with a safety chain on the top there, maybe to a book clasp or something. But yeah, you let me know what you think of my bit. So I'm still in the same field, and I got a lovely signal coming in down here. Turn the pinpoint on. Back on. It was coming up at 1920. Let's see if Dear is out. He's out. There he is. Quint. Oh, look at that for a beauty. Is it George of us? And he's facing right. That's an Edward. A bust on that immaculate. Look at that. What year is it? 206. Is it 206? It can't be 206. 1906 maybe 1906 oh, beautiful condition happy days probably one of the better conditions i've ever found of an edward it's got a beautiful edward full penny i mean the bust on that is like real good condition it's like some of the edward pennies that i found are absolutely horrendous so the condition of this one is absolutely fantastic compared to the edward pennies that i normally find you can see full bust you can see moustache and beard on there um, it started to get a little bit of bronze disease, as you can see it's starting to deteriorate a little bit on the back already. Um, but amazing date, it's a 1906 one penny Edwardian coin. So here we go, I'm back. Um, it's the following day, I didn't end up finishing the video on the field because, well, it just started getting dark, I got carried away. And uh, yeah, it turned out to be really productive those fields and I definitely i'm going back to them at some point in the next few days when i get a chance um some of the stuff that i really found was in absolutely immaculate condition um which really surprised me i found a few edwardian coins before and they're normally completely toasted as well as the guys that i found here this time around were in real good condition um, there's a couple of things that i was unsure what i found that i've uh, asked about and had a look well asked about and had opinions of should we say and it turns out that it might be a part of a Second World War military base, which would explain why a lot of the stuff that I pulled out was quite black, tarnished, toasted, and a lot of rubbish that was on the floor, lots of copper, tin, you name it, it was there. Um, so I've got these fields until October, so I'll probably be back. I'll probably be back. Let's have a look at some of the bits I found. I also found this, um, which at first was quite interesting. Um, still is quite interesting to be fair you can just make out the milled lines around the edge um and i've been told that it's probably part of an anti-aircraft missile from the second world war um, which explain why i've had a lot of shrapnel and random copper bits i found in the field too um that's what made me think the field is quite trashy and here we have all the rubbish that i picked up in the field all the bits of aluminium um random Bronze folded pieces of metal, fix-ins. There's lots of random stuff that you have to dig through. I mean, lumps of bronze. 
But you have to dig through to find all the decent stuff. So I'm not always picking up, you know, roof and nails. I'm not always picking up treasure. You've got to dig through the trash to find all the decent stuff as well. I mean, there's rounds. I think that round's even, not even been shot by the feel of it. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. Um, so yeah, like, you don't always just go out and find treasure. You do have to dig through a lot of trash to find the treasure. Um, and you don't always find treasure either. It's just luck of the day. You've got to walk over it for it to be there. There's things like this. That to me looks possibly like part of a military shell. Um, yet again. And what I mean by lots of copper and bronzy and brassy bits. Um, aluminium gives off such an amazing target, Mr. Bond. Um, gives off such an amazing target. Things like this gives off such amazing turns as well. So you gotta dig it, you gotta dig it, ignore it, you never know what could be underneath it. So for me, I'll see you next time.